What's going on everyone in World of Warships land? Coming at you today with a little bit of ranked action, another Republic round. I'm really enjoying this ship in ranked. I didn't think that I would. Really wasn't having much luck with battleships to begin with. Uh, Yamato, I had played a little bit, wasn't able to get any headway with it, and I, I guess it just didn't suit my play style and what I needed out of a battleship in ranked gameplay. But, I'm going to show you this because this game highlights some very important things that I would like you to keep in mind when you play ranked gameplay. First and foremost, take control of the situation. As a player, if no one says anything or no one comes up with a plan, make the plan yourself. Pay attention to the typing and the chat in this round. It was, it was very good, actually. No one argued. Everybody played together. And really, no one, aside from myself, said anything. I pretty much took command of this battle and led my team, which is nice. It's good. I don't have a problem when people make suggestions either. I think it's good when teams work together and everybody has their own ideas. But this one, I just kind of naturally took control. And you can see me right now shot calling telling the team where we should go, B to C, with the idea of kind of taking that line and just flanking A and getting those nice little flank shots on the enemy team. This game evolved a little slower than I thought it would, and my damage in the beginning wasn't really where I would have liked it to have been, but just really no targets presented themselves, and that's another thing you have to keep in mind when you play ranked gameplay. It's not about doing damage. It's not. It's about being in the right place at the right time to help lead your team to victory or help contribute to victory. I have no problem in ranked gameplay if I don't do a lot of damage so long as I stay in the round and I make an impact on the round. And you can make an impact in ranked just being there. You can make an impact in rank just being a wooster sitting behind a mountain doing no damage, but just scaring the enemy destroyers away. So ranked is really not about damage at all. It's all about the placement of the players on your team and you making an impact where you are. So right now, right off the bat, we sent a destroyer to A. I told him to leave if it got too hot. I didn't know where the enemy was going to be, and slowly the battlefield is starting to present itself to us. You can see that the enemy has already capped A, they've already capped C. This doesn't concern me though, and when you're playing, it really shouldn't concern you all either. If the enemy takes two caps in the very beginning, it's not a huge deal so long as you position yourself to be able to counter that. If they get two caps right off the bat, but it reveals their positions to you, that's fine, because you can react to that. And you can see right now this Moskva has popped up, and kind of what I thought was going to happen has happened. We're going to find out here shortly that the enemy has sent the majority of their team to A, leaving the other side of the map pretty much unexposed. So, we're capping our sides, and I'm trying to get the shimmies to go ahead and push forward to C. I'm going to follow them, but of course I need their spotting. You can kind of see the other ships on my team are trailing behind me, but really I'm just waiting for these shimmies to push forward. And we're just going to steamroll. I just want to keep this forward momentum going, but I'm playing it safe, I'm playing it cautiously, because I know there's probably destroyers over here. I know that C was capped, so there's at least one destroyer over here. And you can see on the map, it's starting to light up red on the other side, right by A. So all their battleships, all their heavy hitters are over there on A right now, minus this Hindenburg that just popped up. And I suspect that he's kind of their, their lone straggler that's just going to kind of disrupt both sides because he's got the range to hit over on my side, he's got the range to hit on the other side. Now, I'm detected right now. I am a little worried because I don't see anything other than that Hindenburg. So I know a destroyer is probably spotting me right now. So I'm going to slow it down a notch just in case because I don't want to run into a wall of torps. Because again, if you're a battleship, it's important having your health for that last part of the battle. And that's going to come into play for me here. And you see this Hindenburg. He's kind of slowing down here trying to throw my shots off. 
He's playing a little smart. He's, he's not going to go full speed and give me that broadside, but I see him slowing down. Shots are out. They look good, but eh, dispersion has kind of let me down at that range and a mere 2,900 hit points. And there's the gearing. There's that destroyer that I knew was lurking around, so I'm going to get my secondaries popping off on him. I don't know why I always control uh, focus, because I'm not running uh, manual secondaries on this thing. I don't. There's too many other important things on the Republic that I like allotting my captain skills to. But I do it anyways. I guess it's out of habit. So, focusing the gearing. Wooster's moving up right now. You can see him on the far side of the map. Taking a little while to get there, but that's alright. Shimmy's going to get a hit on this gearing. I'm going to take a shot at the gearing. Because in a battleship, I always take shots at destroyers if it presents itself to me. There's no point not doing that. People... People always say, you know, ah, don't front. shoot at destroyers in a battleship. Actually, I don't know who says that. Always shoot at destroyers if you're in a battleship. Always. So anyhow, that gearing's gone. We're already up right now. They still have two caps, but that's all right. Something else is firing torps at me, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and push forward. I'm going to assist my team in cap. I'm going to start taking shots at this Hindenburg because I am a little worried that he's going to start focusing my Wooster. And I want to keep that Wooster alive because that Wooster is my insurance against these two destroyers that popped up right here. This Shimmy and this Grozovoy. And right now, right now, I bet this Wooster is chomping at the bits. I bet he is just happy right now that these two destroyers have presented themselves. And I'm just going to tell the Wooster right now to do Wooster things and watch the fireworks. I'm slowly going to creep forward because I want to assist him as well. I want to get my secondaries popping here. You know, we have this cap surrounded. And the enemy team right now is worried. They know that they've done messed up going to the other cap. So all their players are rushing back to assist right now to get C back. And you can see the shimmy right here is not in a good place whatsoever. My secondaries are firing off. I'm firing at the Hindenburg with my main guns to protect my Wooster, to keep my Wooster alive. Because again, I don't want that Wooster going down. Shimmy's done. So I'm going to start pushing forward now. Let's take this cap and let's put this away. We're already, what, seven minutes into this round. We're up by points now because we've sank these two ships. But we still don't have that extra cap we want. And I've only done 12,000 damage. That's it. But I've been in a position that I like. Moving forward. Commanding the team. And this Yami right here is trying to get back into the fight. And I'm just going to wait for him right here. Just going to wait for his broadside. I know it's coming. Give it to me, baby. Come on. And there we go. Firing at this Yami. And boop. Two Citadels right there. He's done. They're now down three ships. I'm pushing forward full steam ahead. Again, my biggest concern right now is not that Kerfurst ahead of me. It's really this Hindenburg over the side and the lurking DDs. The reason I'm worried about that Hindenburg is I know he's targeting my Wooster. And I want to keep that Wooster alive again because that is a very important ship for its radar and its hydro. I know there's DDs lurking, but still I'm going to push forward. I'm going to start attacking this... Grocer Kerfurst right here. There's a nice little 12,000 chunk off of him. I know he's going to come in. He's not just going to hang back. The game is completely on the line at this point. Just because we have this area swarmed. They're running out of time to make something happen. We have all the caps. 730 points and counting to their mere 500. They have no way to gain any right here. So, it's on right now. We've got our full team. They're almost down to half right now. Kerfus is closing in. Oops! Here comes a Grozovoy. I'm going to get my secondaries popping on him and take some shots at him. A little concerned about that. Don't know if he's fired any Torps lately. So I'm going to start nosing in on him right now just in case Torps are heading that way. The secondaries are going to start popping on the Kerfus. Again, though. The Kerfus is not my big concern. It's that Hindenburg over there because he's closing in on our Wooster. So I'm going to take some shots on this Kerfurst right here. Just one last shot. But I'm going to start swinging my guns over to this Hindenburg to try and help my Wooster here. I'm going to let my secondaries work on this Kerfurst. And I'm just going to sit here. I know there might be Torps coming inbound. But I'm going to let my secondaries do their duty. Nice little smoke for my teammate right there. It's quite nice. 
Hindenburg's presenting his broadside. He's so focused on the Wooster and taking him out right now. He's really not too worried about me. And only one round connects right there. Torps hitting that curve first. He's in a veritable Torp soup right now. My, my destroyers have just been awesome this round. I was blessed with some very good destroyers this round. Very, very nice. Takes some more shots at this Hindenburg, who has slowed down just a little too much. And finally, there's something good against him. Knocked his engines out. Citadel. Wooster's probably going to finish him off right here. And again, Kerr first, I'm concerned about. And here are the Torps that I knew that were out there. Finally coming my way. I've just been letting these fire, fires burn because I knew these torps were coming and I wanted to be able to put them out. High caliber right there. Shots on the curve first again. I'm probably not going to last too much longer. Yeah, there I go. And those torps finished me off, but that's okay. Going to finish off this uh, curve first right here. Get that last little award in. And that's it. That's the game. Guys, take command. Be the leader. Be the leader. If no one comes up with a plan, be the leader. Push forward. Command the battlefield. Use positioning to your advantage. And remember, it's not all about damage. It's being about somewhere that makes an impact. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're doing phenomenal. Good luck the rest of this rank season. And I am out.